Ever since 2K bought the rights to make WWE games, they have only gotten better. From improving match pacing, to a massive graphical upgrade, to a huge roster, and making the game overall more fun to play, with each new year comes new additions to the formula. I'm Sean from Get Some Games, and these are 7 new additions we want in WWE 2K17. Number 1. Huge improvements made to Universe Mode. Universe Mode was introduced back in 2010 with SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and it hasn't changed too much since. If anything, it's actually gotten worse. 2K16's Universe Mode is full of bugs, and there isn't very much to do with it. Right now, Universe Mode is only great if 90% of it takes place in your own imagination. Video games are supposed to bring my imagination to life. With 2K17, I would love to see more cutscenes, and I mean a lot more cutscenes, as opposed to the same three I see over and over again in 2K16. Stories happening more organically would really streamline the mode and make it more fun. They had something going in 2K15 where you could pick specific rivalries, but even then, I don't want to know exactly what's going to happen before it happens. I want to be surprised with what happens and for the game to throw in a few curveballs. If I have to set up everything, it takes away the fun. Bring back in-match run-ins, and why were those even taken out in the first place, and progress the story through cutscenes, and please... Please stop having rivals face each other every single week. Why should I care about the pay-per-view match when it's already happened four times leading up to the pay-per-view? And just a couple little tidbits. Please allow us to assign a manager to a superstar, make allies and rivals more important, and let the announcers help provide the feel of a streamlined universe. Number two, completely up-to-date roster. This is an easy one, but 2K17 should have a completely up-to-date roster. A lot of superstars have debuted already this year between WWE and NXT, and hopefully they are all in the game. I'm talking about AJ Styles and the rest of Bullet Club, Shinsuke Nakamura, Asuka, Apollo Crews, American Alpha, and pretty much everybody else who should obviously be in the game. The WWE has an amazing roster right now, so I would much rather have them focus on the present instead of the past. Number 3. Realistic Weapon Physics SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 had nearly perfect weapons physics, and that game came out six years ago. Why would they ever even take something like that out? You used to be able to suplex people onto the stairs, powerbomb people more effectively through tables, and do, well, pretty much anything you could think of. Now the stairs slowly glide out of the way, and tables fall over if you do so much as look in their direction. Bringing weapons into the mix is one of the most fun things to do in the WWE games, and the more freedom we have with them, the better. Even in WWE 13, if you did a move to somebody off the ladder, your character would automatically aim towards tables to send them crashing through. How awesome is that? Bring that stuff back. Number 4. More than 6 superstars at a time with smarter AI. For over a decade now, we haven't been able to put more than 6 superstars in the ring at a time. This limits the Royal Rumble and Survivor Series elimination matches greatly. I know it's due to performance issues and I'm no video game developer, but there's got to be a way to make it possible. Oh, and if you're going to do this, please just make sure that the AI is a little smarter first. Three on three tag matches right now aren't exactly the best with people running in to break up pins literally every single time. Number five, create a finisher. Creating a superstar is one of the most fun things to do in the WWE games. They removed create a finisher after it was in a few games and now it's time to bring it back. After fully creating my characters with custom clothes, a custom moveset, a custom entrance, and a custom song, oh yeah, yeah, uh, bring back custom entrance music as well. That's more important than almost any of this. But now I have to rip off someone else's finisher. Creating my own devastating finishing move used to always be the icing on my big, beautiful caw cake. Number six, bring back quick, normal, and epic match lengths. Back in WWE 13, Ukes added a nice little feature that allowed you to change the match experience, basically from a squash match to an epic pay-per-view main event caliber match. This feature was fantastic for universe mode as it allowed for more genuine WWE experience. If I wanted to showcase Brock Lesnar's power by putting him against R-Truth, I could set it to quick and destroy truth in two minutes flat. On the flip side, I could have five-star matches with finisher kickouts and near falls all over the place. With the great addition of stamina greatly affecting wrestlers this gen, this could really up the ante for putting on a 5 star match. I still want to be able to go for a pin towards the end of a match without having to worry that I'm going to end this epic match after just a suplex. And that brings us to our final point. Number 7. Allow us to tell a story in matches. This one could cover a very broad range of things, but essentially I want to be able to do a little more in game than just straight up fighting my opponent. 
The majority of fans don't play these games like fighting games for competition. They want to create insane spots, play out fantasy booking, and let their WWE imaginations run wild. It isn't just about trying to beat your opponent. When I play in universe mode as a heel character, what can I really do to show that I'm a heel? Knock out the ref and use a weapon? That's about it. For 2K16, they did add a very small action where you can hit the strike button after a tie-up in the corner to deliver a cheap shot, but there could be so much more. Let the heels play like heels and let the faces play like faces. It would be awesome to slowly have a face turn heel throughout a match, complete with the crowd shifting their reactions to match it. Which does remind me, the crowd is a massive factor in a WWE show. Please make the cheers louder, the boos louder, and the chants more frequent. And finally, as a bonus, something we don't want in 2K17, please, 2K, don't put Roman Reigns on the co- Just don't put him on the- Okay, okay, fine, sorry, I even brought him up, jeez. Well, those are the biggest new additions we want to see in WWE 2K17. Please leave a comment below letting us know what you want to see in the new game, and subscribe to us right here on Get Some Games.